the beach, what can you do to protect yourself? First, you can know before you go. So check out our website, find out information about your favorite beach before you head all the way down there to find out that it happens to be one of the more polluted beaches in the country. Um, you might be able to just as easily choose one nearby um, and protect yourself and your family. The second is when you get there, heed the signs. Look around and see whether or not the beach is posted, whether there are signs that say don't swim in the water. I've too many times seen photographs and people out on the beach in front of a sign that says, warning, contaminated water, don't swim, and people are swimming. And it's really surprising, and their kids are swimming. So pay attention to those signs. They're there for a reason. We can see in North Carolina, for example, that the contamination from the pipe is at least extending well into 200 and 400 meters up and down beach from the pipe, hmm. which is a lot. Look for flowing storm drains. You know, the big pipes that discharge out into the water, those are oftentimes the most contaminated part of the beach. And then lastly, avoid going to the beach or in the water when it's raining. Mm. Um, if it's a light rain, don't go in for 24 hours. It's a, if it's a heavy rain, generally don't go in for 72 hours because, again, that's where all the contamination is coming down from the watershed into the coastal waters. What are some improvements that could be made to the current test methods, and how would this improve beach water quality? There's the test methods, and then there's just the frequency of testing. So you might test on a Monday, but people are going on a Saturday. What good does that really do them? You know, but if you're testing daily or a couple times a week, people can be better informed about the conditions when they're out there. people support NRDC in our effort to get the EPA to raise the bar for what it considers to be safe to swim and improve beach water quality standards? Well, one of the most important things they can do is become a member of NRDC um, and go online and take action. 